Hey guys, good morning. My name is Jonathan. Uh, right now it's roughly about 11 a.m. in the morning, uh, close to afternoon. Uh, today is Monday, February 8th. Uh, so happy Monday to everybody. Uh, I haven't done any product review for a while and haven't bought anything from Wish.com for quite some time. Uh, so today this product I actually got from Wish.com. Um, I wasn't sponsored or anything like that. Uh, I think about maybe a month ago I was browsing along uh, the website and stumbled upon this uh, mask that I saw on uh, Wish.com. So I'm just opening it. So I want to quickly show you guys when I open it. I haven't even seen this yet actually to you guys. So I'm, I don't exactly know what to expect. But I remember when I saw the mask I thought it was kind of cool on the website. Uh, they do come in different variation of color. I think this one, the one that I got, it's black. Um, so yeah, it come in. It's wrapped in pretty nicely. A uh, wrap. So when you open it, um, first thing what I noticed is it looked kind of like a ski mask, but um, honestly, it wasn't supposed to be used as a ski mask. Um, I think they. I guess. Technically, if you want to use it as a ski mask, you could too. They came in a different variation of color. You got like the blue, the yellow, the green, stuff like that. I think I got the silver. So this is the silver look to it. So I don't know if you guys could see it. So pretty much uh, this was meant to replace like regular surgical mask when you go outside. Uh, as you guys probably knew that, you know, we are doing the pandemic period a lot of people are wearing their surgical masks or you know cotton masks so this is a alternative mask that you could wear it's easier to breathe at the same time it come with like the screen itself uh, in terms of back it doesn't really have any filter other than this area right here so I'm not really sure how protected this thing is um, so the air holes is probably around this area uh, these are pretty much closed. Um, so yeah, it has a filter right here. Um, it has like a saw padding on the eye around this area. So I guess um, it sort of replaced the sunglass. You don't really have to wear the sunglass, I guess. I'm not really sure. But for sure, you could replace these lens. Uh, I could tell like there's a gap opening right here. So obviously the quality control is not that great. Um, I don't know if you guys could see it. Right there, there we go. There's an opening. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I'll try to take this out right now. See if I could just pull this out. Um, yeah, actually, you could. It's not that hard. It's not like they glue this down. They actually didn't glue this down. Look at this. I can't. I actually could take just take this out right now. There we go. Um, they do have a film to it, so I guess you're supposed to remove this film. I'm not really sure, but I'm just going to remove it. And the inside is black. Obviously, the outside is silver. Uh, let me try to install this. Um, quickly show you guys. So I guess that's how they make these uh, regular ski masks. Um, i assuming these are pretty much ski masks that, you know, they have. I don't know how am I going to install this, but I'm going to try to install it. Maybe it wasn't a complete good idea to remove this because now I have my finger marked on this whole thing, but oh well. I'll just wipe it off later. Um, let me pause it while I install this. Okay guys, so I actually got this uh, screen back in. Uh, it wasn't easy. I pretty much had to, had to force it in. But good thing is that this thing is actually made out of plastic, so you could bend this. Um, but yeah, it wasn't easy to put this back in. It took me about 3-4 minutes. Uh, I just had to jam it back in. Um, but yeah, so this screen, you actually could replace it uh, with different color. Uh, let me quickly wear this and show you guys what it looked like. So what do you guys think? It looks kind of funny, but for sure you do, um, you are able to breathe a lot better. Um, there is opening on the bottom, uh, about a few inches, very small, probably like a, my pinky could go in. Pinky size, I guess. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, pinky size. Could, but 
you can't really fit your dumb inside but other than that you could also adjust the strap in the back so i didn't really tie this up but for sure when you uh wear this it's not that bad it's pretty easy to bleed um um easy to see too because uh, these things uh block off the glare and all that stuff um other than that it's pretty pretty simple it does has a funny smell to it because this thing is made out of plastic i'm not sure what kind of plastic this is but it does sort of smell a little bit um overall i felt like this is more like a ski mask um kind of like the one that i have but except it doesn't have the mouthpiece uh, i'm sure you could take the bottom off i'm not really sure what you guys think should i take the bottom off just show you guys um i think it's kind of like just okay you know what for demonstration purpose i will take the bottom off just to show you guys um i guess i'm pretty much just going to break this do i want to break this yeah yeah it's pretty much attached on this uh, i'm sure you could just take this off okay yeah there we go i'm taking it off guys for you guys there we go so it is a ski mask <laughs> as you can see um pretty much a regular ski mask if they do they made an opening on the bottom like to attach the mouthpiece so this is the mouth guard they just have to design this um pretty much you just stick this on top right here i'm sure if you put like a regular mask filter on here it work as well but yeah guys so regular ski mask and they stick this on it so pretty neat design i'm sure it didn't cost them a lot of money to design this um pretty cheap you just gotta jam this back in i guess let's try this there we go pretty much jam this back in you got yourselves a dark vader mask <laughs> but anyway it's pretty cool uh this only cost me about nine dollars um you know if i knew this product if i saw this already why i want to buy it i probably wouldn't spend waste the money on it but just for like the video purpose and for you to show you guys it's pretty nice i mean um decent price look at this the lens already falling off i don't know why probably i didn't put it back well enough but my point is that um it's not that bad for the price nine bucks i guess uh this is a plastic made though uh regular ski mask probably costs a uh, cheap one it's probably like 40 50 bucks a nice one probably like a few hundred bucks like hundred something um but of course this thing is made out of plastic so um it's going to be a lot cheaper but i could see the the lens the screen it seems pretty good quality um under the sun it's not that bad so it's kind of reflect i don't think you could you guys could see my eye um in terms of how the quality of the mask uh i mean the the filter itself i think these are pretty basic um filter i wouldn't think it'll filter out anything like not like n95 or anything like that just pretty much regular um, filtration um another complaint is that it does smell funny in here i'm sure that over time the smell will go away but other than that um it's pretty nice i think nine bucks is pretty good deal not that bad it took me about a month to get this to get this shipped to my house so yeah that's about it uh thanks for watching if you guys have any comments leave it below hope you guys like it uh i pretty much just stumble upon this product on wish.com that's where i got it from anyway i'll see you guys uh next time and they got pretty nice uh packaging too all right guys bye